what a beautiful day to finally be able to make it back out to the farm. It has been a while since we've been out here. Uh, life's been busy and the closing's taking much longer than we thought it would. We had some issues with the survey, the township, and a few other things, but we are finally scheduled to close in a couple weeks. Uh, we got our tent down from our 30-day camp out here. And uh, today we're hoping to accomplish a decent amount of things, or I guess I am, maybe with a little help later, but uh, need to take the pitcher pump off the well and cap the well, uh, hopefully fix the roof on the barn that you can't see right now, but it's right next to me, uh, start cleaning out a section of woods and uh, sharpen the chainsaw blade because my grandfather always told me nothing kills a chainsaw faster than a dull blade. But first, I am gonna make a pot of coffee and uh, I have not had coffee in three weeks, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, it's gonna be a fun video, so stay tuned. All right, so, so far it's not been a very hot start to the morning. We've had a lot of rain here as of uh, the past few days and I'm having a really hard time getting this fire going without accelerant. Uh, the wind has picked up a decent amount, but according to the forecast, it should start to calm down enough where I feel comfortable having a larger fire around one or two o'clock. And then the chainsaw sharpener kit that I got is the wrong size for the chain on my dad's chainsaw. So as soon as this pot of coffee is done, I'm going to have to run to the store and get a new one and it's going to delay everything a little bit, but good thing we got a early start to the day. All right, I got the right tool. I'm going, I've already done one side. So now I'm going through and I'm gonna stop at uh, doing the other side. I'm doing three passes and I'm rotating as I'm going through. If you think I'm doing it wrong or uh, you have a better tool or a sharpener that uh, you would recommend, drop a comment below. I gotta give a shout out to my mom. I didn't even have any intentions or thoughts of taking this thing off, but she's totally right. It's gonna freeze and uh oh man i did not want to use that to get it started but um i will take this off get it set at in our basement at home so it doesn't freeze and ruin the uh seals that create the pumping and, and you can tell how gnarly we beat up these threads definitely gonna try something a little different when we do our next well. There's a little spot over yonder behind the camera that has like the most crystal clear, rust-free water anybody's ever found on this farm. And uh, we're gonna need it. And it looks like we might be off started here, which is not good. There we go. Oh yeah, you can see how just beaten those threads are. But it works, got us water, kept me fed, kept me hydrated, used it for when I was showering out here, when I was living out here. Uh, it was a success, so cool. On to the next drawer. Next order of business is checking out the progress on our speed composter. Uh, we had this thing nearly completely full of stuff when we first started it. It's just a trash bin we had left over, drilled holes in the side, all in the bottom, and um, saw a couple of different versions of these online and it worked out pretty well so I'm gonna stir it up real quick uh, next year we're gonna go hard on the compost yeah let's give it a stir and see how it's coming all right, we got it all stirred up it's insane to think about the amount of food scraps that we put in there and what it's come down to uh, not really a compost expert I know this has quite a ways to go yet but I feel like it's working pretty well and for it being free 99 because we already had the bin from a previous venture hey we'll take it so when the when my parents decided to stop farming they sold all of their you know farm trucks and uh i had a farm truck also and i sold it I never really left the farm but i need to haul uh some <laughs> some logs out of the woods and it's going to take forever if I do it by hand so I'm going to try to use this old cart that we use to stack blueberry logs on, uh, some bungee cords and attach it to my Volkswagen Jetta TDI. So let's see if that works. Ah. <laughs> Close call already. 
I don't know if this is gonna work. You never know until you try. I think what I'm gonna do to start is both of these to the tow hook and then figure out how to keep it on. What do you think? Am I crazy? Is it gonna work? Uh, that's maybe I connect up to there. Is that enough? Is that gonna keep it? Let's try. Where the air pods again just because of how windy it is. So you can hear the inside of the power more. Yeah. Epic win, epic win, epic win. So let's uh, get the saw. Let's start cutting some of this junk behind us up and get it cleaned up. of different things we kind of have in store or have idea of what we want to do and what you're probably gonna see a lot of this winter is cleaning out the woods um, if we make when we make this an operational farm again we're gonna have people on here and the beauty of this farm is amazing and one thing I cannot stand is a bunch of down trees within the woods I like it nice and clean clear and just you know pristine looking um, just so everybody can get the experience, the full experience of the farm as what we had when we were growing up. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy there. Uh, winter time, probably, you know, the best time to do big fires, big burns, um, everything's wet. Uh, even more ideal conditions are when there's snow on the ground, then we can just get ragers going and uh, make a lot of ground really quickly. Uh, a couple of years ago, we, on New Year's Day, we had about 10 people here just ripping and ripping on the saws and hauling stuff out back when we had the old trucks. And it's uh, that, that section of the woods is absolutely beautiful yet uh, because of that being cleaned out. So yeah, let's get this thing loaded up. a little windier than what I would like. I'm gonna put some of this on, not all of it, just to keep the colds going until a little bit later and uh, where I feel a little more comfortable. A lot of this is pine, 
So it burns really nasty. Stuff goes up in the air, but get a little bit going, see what happens. Some of the smaller stuff. Yeah, I can't think of a, apart from being with family, family's number one. And they should be here in a little while. Anything else for me to do that's more relaxing than this. It's taking on a beautiful fall day, smell of burning wood, leaves in the air, anvils getting ready for winter. There's something magical about it. Beautiful day that's finally got a little bit cooler. Hope all you bow hunters that were out on today, it's October 20 something, uh, had good luck. So yeah, let's get this built up. All right, it's been about two hours and I've been hauling and cutting uh, the little section of woods that I wanted to work on today. And here's where I got the fire at. And here's a giant pile of wood I built up. Uh, I got a couple hours before we're gonna have to head out. So I probably won't add too much more. So this burns down and um, okay, my dad kind of keep an eye on it. See, and they live pretty darn close to the, to the farm and where I'm burning. But yeah, once he gets here, I'm hoping we can take a, a crack at the barn and get that taken care of. This one's been bothering me for a while. Wish me luck. Give it a quick trim. me for a while. Another one down. Okay. All right, we're gonna wrap this one up a little bit different. Then it gets to the roof, uh, got fixated on getting rid of the rest of the wood. We'll let this burn down for a while, but uh, overall, still pretty productive day and accomplish most of what we wanted so until the next one please like subscribe and share